everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my 10 favorite tips and tricks when it comes to flying with kids if you don't already know i recently came back from an overseas trip with my family and this was the very very first time we flew with the kids so i have a almost five year old and a two and a half year old so quite young children, so I want to share with you some tips and tricks that I learned along the way in the hopes that it will help you if you're planning a trip with your family um, on an overnight flight. So let's get into the video. So my number one tip is to buy yourself a little bum bag like this. And the reason I found this little bum bag so helpful and useful when we're traveling because I was able to strap it to my body and not worry about taking off my backpack or rummaging through the other check-on bag to find my passports and phone or some coins or whatever I needed quickly at, on hand because um, as you enter the airport you do need to present your passports and your boarding tickets quite a lot of times so you'll be taking these in and out constantly i found that having my passports and essentials right attached to me instead of in my bags was such a big help and a time saver so definitely bring something like this with you and while we're talking about bum bags my number two tip is to make sure you buy yourself a really good passport wallet now if you saw my travel essential videos you would have seen this feature in that video as well um, but I found this so so helpful basically this um, allows for you to have all your passports and boarding tickets and all that in one little pouch or wallet um, and again it will save you from rummaging through your bag to try and find what you need and like I said, you'll require to take out your passports and boarding tickets several times um, at the airport. So it was really super easy that I had them all in one um, all in one wallet so I could just zip it open, present what I needed, um, and then zip it back close. And that way I found that I wasn't going to lose all the bits and pieces. My next tip is to buy those inflatable footstools these were a godsend in my opinion and if you have no idea what i'm talking about i would probably recommend that you watch my other video where i talked about um travel essentials because i do talk about it a little bit more in that video um but i'll send a photo somewhere up here so you can see how my kids slept while using the inflatable footstool but basically it's just a footstool that you can blow up and put in between the seat that you're sitting and the seat in front of you and it acts like an extension to your seat and this allowed for my kids well my daughter who is two and a half to lay pretty flat she did have to bend her legs a little bit um, but it allowed her to sleep all night on the flight comfortably and even though my son Christopher was too long to um, sleep long ways he liked using this because he was able to have a bit more room when he was sleeping on our laps so he was you know able to stretch out a bit more and not have you know the fear of actually rolling off the seat so it was really really helpful so if you do have kids this is my number one thing that you need on the plane is to get those inflatable footstools they will allow your children to sleep for longer on the airplane which is what you want when you're traveling overnight especially on a long haul flight which ours was well i would consider it quite long because it was around eight hours my next tip is um i've kind of touched on this a little bit already but is to book a flight overnight so if you are going to be traveling i would say more than three to four hours i would definitely consider um, booking in an overnight flight so this way your children can sleep for majority if not all of the flight and you don't have to worry too much about entertainment and you know keeping them happy on the flight for such a long period of time and especially if you have young kids that get bored watching movies or you know playing with activities and all that so it just saves a lot of heartache and agony when it comes to um, flying with kids definitely try and book an overnight flight it worked wonders for us my kids slept pretty much the entire way and you know even though my husband and i lost the night's sleep because i could barely sleep because i was always concerned about the kids and 
um, you know, it's not very comfortable anyways on a on a flight. Um, so I lost a night's sleep and my husband lost a night's sleep, but at least the kids slept and we weren't dealing with crying and whinging um, for eight hours. So definitely try and book an overnight flight if you can. So I'm gonna combine like two tips in one. But that is to feed your kids before you actually get on the flight. We gave our kids dinner before we actually boarded the flight to make sure that their tummies were full and they actually had a proper meal. Um, because if you don't already know, the food on the plane isn't the greatest. Um, I actually didn't even enjoy it myself. So I can imagine that my kids wouldn't have really touched much of it at all. And having hungry kids on a flight is no fun, even if it's an overnight flight. Um, you want their tummies to be full so they can sustain, um, you know, for the whole duration of the eight hour flight. So make sure you do feed them before you get on the flight. And my second part of this tip is to make sure that you pack plenty of snacks or even pack a meal for them on the flight in case they do wake up and they want some food. And again, they're not fond of the plain food. At least you'll have um, some food that they like and you know that will keep them full and happy. The snacks also come in handy when you're traveling to and from the airport. So you need to keep your kids happy, not only just on the plane, but also during the car ride to and from the airport. So you need to have plenty of snacks to be able to last throughout that whole travel period. My next tip is to um, give your child a lollipop or a dummy or something to chew on during landing and takeoff. I found this was really, really helpful with both of my kids. None of my kids had any issues with their ears, you know, getting blocked up or, you know, that sensation when you get when you're taking off. So I just gave them a lollipop to suck on or in the instance of my daughter, she just had her dummy in her mouth and she was watching a movie while we were taking off and she didn't even notice that we were taking off or landing. She was actually sleeping during the landing process. So there was no issues whatsoever. My son was awake during the landing, but he had absolutely no issues at all. My next tip is to keep toys and activities to a minimum. I definitely overpacked. I actually was going to do a video on what I was going to pack in my kids carry on. Um, but when I filmed that video compared to what we actually used and needed, um, there was a lot of excess stuff that I shouldn't have even packed to be honest. And, um, it just, wasn't necessary so i didn't actually end up uploading that video i did film it and i started editing it and then by the time we traveled and i realized that we didn't actually need all that stuff i didn't think that video was going to be too helpful so i ended up scrapping that video so um lesson learned is that you don't need much when you're traveling definitely pack some fun activities like drawing um books like coloring books pencils um, little puzzles or something small in their bags um, but when you're doing an overnight flight you really don't need that much because you are hoping they're going to sleep for most of that period um, but one tip that I would have is in the airport they did get a little bit nancy because we had to wait to board for a little while what I actually did is I bought each child a new toy um, so something small that they haven't seen or playing with or played with before and that way it kept them excited and happy for a little bit longer um, than they probably would normally be and yeah so that would be my tip when it comes to packing toys and activities keep it to a minimum and maybe think about buying one or two little things in there that they haven't seen before that they can kind of play um, during the airport or even on the plane um, to keep them happy and entertained My next tip is to make sure all liquids that you're packing, whether it's in your check-on bags or whether it's in the carriage bags, make sure that any liquids that you're packing are in a zip lock bag or in like a cosmetic travel bag, separate to anything else in your luggage. Um, and this is because um, a lot of lotions and things in bottles that are sealed and airtight, they tend to explode sometimes or leak um, during a flight. So I even found some of my, I think it was my hair serum that leaked through and also um, and also some sunscreen, like a bottle of sunscreen actually opened during flight and um, the product actually came out into my luggage. Luckily I had it in a Ziploc bag, um, but if I did not, it would have gone through everything. So even though the bottle may have like, you know, 
a twist top or like a lid or something like that and you think it's secure and it's fine make sure you still put it in a ziploc clear bag um, just in case it does tend to leak or burst um, while you're on the flight the next tip is to invest in a compact stroller so this is a stroller that can either go on the flight with you so it has to be like an umbrella stroller quite small just double check with your flight requirements as to how small this needs to be or you can just get another compact travel stroller and um, you can check this in at the gate so you, what that means is that you can have the stroller all throughout the airport until you actually board the plane. It's really handy if you have a young child and you need to push them around in the pram and it's actually good to put your excess luggage inside the pram or the stroller. Um, but yeah, it just means that you don't have to check it in with the other baggage that you're sending through under the plane. You can go through the gates and at the gates, then they, then they will take the stroller off you and put it under the plane. And then once you get off the plane, it will hopefully be there at the gate. So you can then use it in the airport again. So yeah, really good tip if you are traveling with young kids that um, you invest in a travel stroller so you can bring it along with you. And then obviously you can use this stroller whilst you are holidaying. And yeah, it just becomes really handy. If your child is still using a stroller, definitely consider that as well. And my last tip is to make sure you dress your kids in super comfy clothes, especially if it is an overnight stay. You can either buy pajamas that look like, like a tracksuit set, or you can just put a tracksuit set on them that's going to keep them super comfy and warm. It does get quite cold in the plane um, because the aircon is running, obviously, at all times. Um, so, yeah, pack really comfy, warm clothes, maybe an extra blanket. So then to keep them really as comfortable and if you can maybe even do the nighttime routine with them to get them to unwind so if, for instance you do read them bedtime story books before bed do that before they unwind to go to sleep and just get them really comfy and warm um, so they can unwind and sleep for the whole duration hopefully um, of the flight and you are all very happy um, once you arrive at your destination so that is the end of my video and all my tips and tricks that I am going to share with you today. I hope that has helped. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and follow me on this journey. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.